Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything and absolutely nobody asked for this. Well, the customer did, but um, you guys certainly didn't. If you want to learn how to engrave a basketball with a CO2 laser, today's your lucky day because that's exactly what we're doing. Here we go. So here we are guys, we're getting ready to get started on our basketball. I've gone ahead and gotten it into the machine and we're going handheld here for a second just so that I can show you uh, some of the quirks about setting this up. I'm using just a couple of wooden blocks. I've got one in the back and two on the sides there uh, so that we can just keep this from rolling away on us while we're doing our work. Uh, this will be more than enough to keep things steady, though if we wanted to, we could add a fourth block to the front, uh, and I may do that before we get started. Uh, but as far as centering this up, there's no easy way to do it, guys. Um, I've, I've got a nice seam right here, right in the middle, so I'm lined up with that, and then on the other side, I am lined up with the top of the logo there, so if we kind of like just look through at it, it's kind of hard to see from, from your perspective, but... You can see it right there. Uh, we just kind of want this nice straight line right down the center there. And uh, I've gone ahead and tried to get this as flat as humanly possible. Um, and of course we need to keep our uh, expectations tempered here, right? We're not doing some giant thing on this basketball. We're just doing a small name and we can get away with that. So uh, with that in mind, this is kind of where you wanna be before we move on to the next step. So whatever you gotta do to get this rigged up, so that it will sit still and sit flat. Um, that's that's the way to go for this. Uh, and we'll hop over to uh, Lightburn now and start working on our settings, which will be very quick. So we'll go do that right now. Hey guys, what's up? We're here and we're getting ready to engrave our basketball. This is going to be deceptively simple. Uh, we do not have a lot to do. They just want one word. So we're just gonna grab our text tool here and uh, we're gonna type in what they're asking for. They wanted that in the impact font, so there we go, and we're good to go on that. Um, we are just gonna stop for one second and take a quick measurement uh, to see where we wanna be size-wise. So uh, we'll go ahead and check that real quick. So we've got our measurement, we're gonna grab our box tool and uh, we'll just set that to red so we don't mark anything. And uh, we want 50 wide by about 16 tall. And uh, that's gonna do nicely for us. And we can grab our text and we'll just resize it to the box. Pretty straightforward. We'll go ahead and take this down, get it centered up. Before we can jump over to the CO2 laser, we do need to pick a setting. Uh, and for this, I'm just gonna use my normal Vegetan leather setting. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open this up here. Uh, and we want the light setting. Uh, we can add multiple passes if we need to. So we'll go ahead and assign that to the layer. And this is a low power setting. We can start low, we can always add more. We don't have to do it in one shot. So let's start low and then we'll, we'll take it from there. So we've got our uh, leather setting in and our outline is there and we can go ahead and shoot this over to the laser. Uh, we do wanna just make sure that we set our job origin to center. And we can name this basketball, basketba, hit okay, that'll send over. Okay, we're all done. That's literally it for this entire episode. We're done in Lightburn. Uh, so let's jump over to the CO2 and to get this basketball engraved. So um, you can definitely engrave rubber with a CO2 laser. And uh, I just wanted to dispel any rumors that these are made of PVC or some other nasty chemical. Engraving these is no problem for your laser. Uh, so you can go ahead and feel confident in um, engraving this because uh, it's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, last thing we gotta do is just find our focus here. And uh, that looks pretty good right there. We've got our file in the machine and we're ready to go. So all that's left to do is mark it. And there you go guys, uh, that is complete. That's looking really nice right there. Uh, you can just take a clean dry microfiber cloth and give it a quick wipe if you want to, um, but that's probably not even necessary. And we've got a really nice uh, engraving right there on that basketball now. That's looking really good. 
Um, the customer does want another one on the other side. So we're just gonna set that up really quick and, uh, and run that and then we can wrap this up. There you go guys we could wipe this off um i don't even really think we need to to be honest we've got great contrast it, it looks good it's easy to read it's nice and deep um I, what else do you want <laughs> it's a basketball we just engraved freaking basketball i'm i'm uh i'm stoked on that that's awesome i also just wanted to point out to you you can definitely tell the difference between the two colors of rubber there uh you know more of that like orangey red and then like the orange orange are definitely made out of different rubbers, but they both look really good. And again, they, they've got nice depth to them. Uh, so, you know, nice and easy to read. Customers gonna be super happy with this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope at the very least you found it entertaining. I don't think a ton of people are gonna find it incredibly useful, but it was worth making anyway. If you got anything out of this video, even if it was just a little entertainment, hit the like button, let everybody know. If you want to see more videos like this or a lot more videos way more useful than this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time we post a video. If you love this channel and it's the best thing that's ever happened to you, go ahead and sign up for the Patreon. There's a link in the description and signing up gets you instant access to my entire CO2 and fiber laser parameter libraries, as well as a ton of other perks that make it well worth your time and energy, not to mention you support the show. You allow us to bring in new equipment and new items to review and all sorts of other great stuff that make this channel awesome for everybody. If you guys are looking for an awesome place where you can hang out with a bunch of other laser engravers who love to talk about lasers, love to share settings, and love to help people out, you want to join the Discord. There's a link right down in the description, right next to the link to the Patreon. Uh, it takes two seconds to sign up and get involved in the community, and I really recommend that you do that. It could be an invaluable resource for you uh, if you're looking for somewhere where you can grow and learn more about this crazy business. That's it, guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one, or I'll see you on the court. And uh, that's it, guys. I'm going to go shoot a three-pointer. <laughs>